Here we have a woodlouse belonging to the Porcelia scaver species, which is commonly found in Europe. Woodlice are also known as roly polies or pill bugs, and there are thousands of species worldwide. The evasive nature of woodlice makes it difficult to conduct thorough observations, and as such, many behaviors have yet to be analyzed. Throughout my observations in my homemade terrarium, I witnessed many interesting behaviors. As you can see in this video, cannibalism was one of them. However, in this video, I am going to focus on a very common behavior, which is aggregation. Here we can see a group of woodlice shortly after I lifted the flower pot under which they were aggregated. And in this video, we see my captive Porcelio scapers aggregated in one tight group in the corner of the pot. For this observation, I chose to capture only seven animals that I could identify individually. We can see that as I am removing layers of soil, more individuals emerge from underneath. In fact, it looks like some of them were stacked on top of each other. Usually they tend to seek some kind of shelter like stones or tree bark, but in this case, they buried themselves into the soil. Unfortunately, it is very difficult to make these observations without disrupting their natural behavior. The isopods seem very agitated and some try to flee the scene. Now let's break down this behavior into each of Nico Tinbergen's four levels of analysis. First, causation. Woodlice feces could contain aggregation pheromones. Cedric Devine writes in his article that olfaction could permit the isopods to find conspecifics. This is a great example for chemical signaling, as covered in Module 2 of Cogbooks. Next, development. Woodlice modulate individual behaviors according to social context. Pierre Broly's research strongly supports the existence of self-organization in the aggregation process. Observations showed that the individual probability of joining an aggregate was proportional to the aggregate size. On the evolutionary level, we need to look at the terrestrialization process of these crustaceans. Pierre Broly conducted extensive research on that topic and found that in the context of transition from water to land, aggregation behavior might have promoted colonization of new environments. Seeking out conspecifics could have helped individuals to find good shelter quickly. Now what is the actual function of aggregation? Most importantly, it functions as a way to avoid desiccation. Research has shown that individuals tend to lose less moisture when aggregated, which is crucial for the survival of wood lice that are very sensitive to changes in humidity. As mentioned in Module 6 of Cogbooks, group life has many positive effects, such as predator avoidance. It is possible that wood lice also benefit from dilution and selfish herd effect, but this needs more research. Wood lice produce secretions that repulse spiders, their main predators. It is possible that aggregation could intensify this effect. Aggregation has also shown to promote body growth. Larger females produce more offspring, which means higher fitness. Similarly to quails mentioned in Module 11, aggregation in woodlice facilitates mating by increasing the probability of encounters between males and females. Last but not least, aggregation of woodlice promotes caprophagy. As mentioned in Module 10, vultures consume feces of ungulate grazers for their rich antioxidant content. In the case of woodlice, they can gain additional calcium, which is important for their exoskeleton. By the way, this is probably one of the reasons why cannibalism occurs.